Hello friends, it is Denise from Loving Life at 60-ish, and by the looks of this, it looks like I'm doing an organizing video today, but I am not. I just uh, came in and this is kind of where everything was at. So, we are doing scratch-offs, and it is Friday. Yay, 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 yay. After five o'clock tonight, the phone won't ring. We won't have any appointments. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. We, I just put this over here. We have a hundred dollars, which is usually what we have. So, but I had some, oh, sorry. I have some happy mail I wanted to share before we go too far. But let me do this. It is Friday. It is, this is in real time Friday. Um, yesterday was games, right? Games 150. Friday is scratch offs um 100 so let's see i've been to the post office and i went and got my hair done this morning um <clears throat> and then i got oh i got this have you guys tried this Okay, so I love peach. Um, I like the smell of peach. Um, almost any peach candle is smells delicious to me. Not all, but almost all. Um, and so I used to always have plain salsa water in my refrigerator. And then I would get um, a Tarani um, bottle of peach syrup and I would add some to it. Uh, you know, I, I think they call it an Italian soda, especially if you put cream in it, which I don't do. Um, but, and when we would go places where you could, where you had that option, I would always get that. Well, Dunkin' Donuts has come out, this is not a sponsored video for Dunkin', but they have come out with a uh, peach sunrise, peach sunshine peach sunshine drink um and it, it is their sparked energy and honestly you guys i haven't looked to see what's in it i mean i know there's salsa water and i know there's peach syrup my daughter thought there was green tea in it too but um it doesn't say that it just says peach sunshine syrup sparkling water so i think that's all that's in it um, but it is so good, you guys. Thoroughly enjoying it. My daughter got me a small one on Sunday for me to try, and I've had one almost every day since. Not every day, but almost every day. Um, and so I've done it. I've had it instead of my iced coffee in the afternoon. And, um, yeah delicious and of course I could do it cheaper by getting my own sparkling water and peach tarani syrup although you have to order that the peach flavor it's very hard to get um like I can't get it in the grocery store up here so so I have some happy mail this is from Divine Savings Co and I got this the other day but I hadn't been to my mailbox until today um, I've also been working on orders. I have all of the May kits printed out, laminated, and now they need to be cut. And then, of course, uh, packaged up and shipped out. So that feels good. They should go out at the beginning of the week, next week. Um, she wrote, I, think, I don't know if you pronounce her name Christelle, Christelle or Crystal. Um, I enjoy watching your channel so much. My favorites are the scratch-offs. Oh, so this is perfect. Uh, and the mini challenge videos. 
So I wanted to send you some of the new challenges that I have in my shop. Hope the denominations are not too crazy, LOL, <laughs> Christelle, or Crystal. Thank you so much. And um, this came around it, says so thank you for your order, Divine Savings Co. And let's see, I got a little bumblebee sticker. That's sweet. And then an IOU, because she probably knows me so well that I need IOUs all the time. Um, and then she sent me this mini, which I think will be perfect in my little minis. I think that's sweet. And then she sent me, oh, that got scraped up. But look at that, a pug on a budget. <laughs> Now, I see what she's saying because these are 5 through 10, and it's $75. So I'm guessing there's $10 a couple of times there, I'm guessing. So, but isn't that adorable? And these are in her shop. And then look, it's Hello Kitty, and it says Adventure Awaits. Now, these are 1 through 13. She's killing me with that one. You see what I'm saying? Killing me. So these will go in my um, scratch off. So this was perfect. And I have some others too, guys. And I think I'm going, going to do a, just a little mini organization um, here in a little bit. And then I'm going to put this one over here too because it's a mini challenge. And this stuff all needs to be taken care of here. And this... Let's see, do I want to put it back in this bag or do I, I think I'm just going to paper clip these together um, because this will go in my Happy Mail binder, which I'm still trying to get time to work on time. You know, I feel like eventually there'll be too much time. You know what I mean? And so for now, it's just when I can get things done. I meant to bring in a couple of Etsy shop drops. I do want to tell you if, oh, that's not even in here. My new princess book that you can get either a hard copy of or you can print off. Um, I also put up the 12 um, dashboards that go with the games and challenges in that. And so it's a separate listing up on Etsy. And the Happy Feet brick wall um, one, sort of like an igloo, um, is also up in my uh, Etsy shop, fairyrosecottage.etsy.com. Now, several of the um, scratch-offs that we'll do today are from my shop, but I also scratch-offs in my pink scratch offs my pink binder and um minis i like to include other shops and other um designers in my, with my with mine so you will see mine and you will see others and you will see some that don't even have an etsy shop that create and so that's exciting too um, and then I wanted to show you this Happy Mail. So this is something I order every month. It's called the Shiny Bits. It's a subscription, and it's by Brandy Kincaid. Again, not um, not a paid for ad in any stretch of the imagination, but it just came in the mail just as I was coming in here. So I thought, well, I'm going to show it because I love it. I've been getting it for about a year now. Um, Hope is here and it's pretty extravagant, the bird says. So I, I'm seeing this right at the same time as you guys this month. Now, you may, you may look at this and say, yeah, but what do you use it for? So some of it is just encouraging, right? Just um, makes you feel good. But a lot of it I put in my journals. I put it in my um, bullet journal that I'm doing, <coughs> the 12-week course, Finding Water. I put them in my planner. 
Um, I hang them on my refrigerator. It's just a, uh, a feel good sort of envelope that you get in the mail every month. So it always comes in an envelope and it says there's hope in here. And I always take this washi tape off and stick it somewhere, you know, where I feel like I need to see it. And then um, she has this girl who usually shouts at you something. Trust yourself. And then this is a thank you for your support card. She writes you a letter about um, what's going on and... Um, she's talking about the in-between in here. I'm not going to read this to you, but, um, it's always a good read. And then there's always some stickers, almost, but not quite yet. Love more. Drink your water. <laughs> so you, I mean, you could put these on your water bottle. You could put them on your computer. You could put them on a binder. You know, I tend to use them in my journals a lot. This is an envelope that says good words for later. So when you feel like you need a pick-me-up, you just kind of open this. And I'm going to open it today. You can find joy in the journey, even if your direction detours. Dear you, there will be plenty of places where your path will veer or vary. Don't stop your stretching just because the route changes. Love me. So there's one of these in every one. Sometimes I read it right away. Sometimes I indeed save it for some other time in the month. There's a little card. Um, and this one, she's talking about what's going on around there. Cherry blossoms. Um, this one says deep breath, which is what I need to take right now. We we did have chemo yesterday, by the way. Um and they started him on a new drug to see if they could keep his white blood cells up. Um, because if they don't stay up, we can't do the chemo. And with no chemo, basically it's hospice. So these are just um, quotes. And you know me, I love a good quote. Cheryl Strayed, I love her um, book, Wild. You go on by doing the best you can. You go on by being generous. You go on by being true. You go on by offering comfort to others who can't go on. You go on by allowing the unbearable days to pass and allowing the pleasure in other days. You go on by finding a channel for your love and another for your rage. Oh, I love that. So there's three little cards in there. Sometimes I use them as journaling jump off points. Like I tape it in my journal and then write about it. This is just a list of, um, that this is April's hope. Don't let one phase of the process stop you from experiencing all the rest onward. So this seems like it's kind of a moving forward sort of thing. Um, she sends you a playlist, which I love that it's a, you know, a mixed tape with a playlist of, of songs. She, she always sends two cards with some type of book and a quote from the book um, or why she likes this particular book. This is Wondersmith. Oh, the quote is on the front. And then Praise Song for the Kitchen Ghost. Uh, there's some more stickers. Hello, Joy. And then there are several postcards. Now... I use these as tip-ins in my journal, but I also send them to people. Um, you might even someday find one in a order that I've sent out. Even the bravest of hearts need rest. Oh, I love that. Boy, did I need to hear that. And rest is my word. So, okay, the old way won't work anymore, but you will find a new way. And you see their postcards. There are still sunrises and sunsets, still people finding ways in and out and around, still others making all of it possible in practice. There are still chocolate chips melting on the top of cookies. Okay, so it talks about that even though whatever's going on in your life, there are still these things that, that keep going on. 
Life is a shipwreck, but we must not forget to sing in the lifeboats. Perfect. Cease your work, look around you. Ah, oh, that's a good one, guys. That is a good one. And then here's Be Good to You, um, which is just another. This one's kind of uh, bigger than normal, I think. Um, but I, I got to tell you, I find good things in every single envelope I get. And I separate some out that I know I'll use in my journals or something in my planner. That one about the lion and the one with the lion resting. That one I will definitely use in my one little word. Um, mm, scrapbook, because rest is my word this this year. So anyway, I just thought you'd enjoy it. It is Bren Brandy Kincaid, and you can find her on um, Instagram. And the uh, subscription is called The Shiny Bits. So, there you go. Just thought I would show you. All right, let's get started, guys. Huh. We got some scratching to do. Some scratching to do. And we are going to use this scratcher because it's easiest. And we're going to start in this one today. We're going to start with Tina's minis. She created these for me. And they are indeed mini. They are small and they are mini. And each one has a little um, scratch off on the back. And this is $5. Sometimes she surprises me and gives me kind of a big one. But we can do $5. $100 doesn't go very far if you're scratching off $10 or something. So, um, I do have to be a little bit careful. So I am just saving this in here when it's done and then putting this in here, obviously, and just um, having fun with it. I'll have these for a long time. Sometimes I do a couple of them uh, throughout the scratching game. This one is chocolate and it's by the blessed daisy budgets it's a two-sided one and um, they are two through eight so i haven't gotten an eight yet but you watch <laughs> now that i've said that one two three this little snowman is in the hot chocolate oh seven i'm in heaven it's a seven I still think this has caffeine in it because I feel like I've had caffeine today. And I haven't if, if it doesn't have caffeine in it. This is going to save me $70 when I'm done. Um, five, six, seven. And... We have an Easter one in here that we're still working on. This one was gifted to me by Ellie on Earth. <coughs> She's so sweet. And it's a hundred dollar one, so chances of it being um, a big one is, yeah, look at that. Ellie, you're killing me. Oh, I was hoping I could get away without any 10s because I can't play as much if I get these darn 10s. But like Crystal or Christelle, I, I say Christelle because I know someone who spells her name like that and she pronounces it Christelle, only she does it in a very um, Spanish way, so uh, which I'm not doing, obviously. All right, we're putting 10 in here, Ellie. We have another Easter one by Ellie. I wish I'd started first because it's a $50 one, but I'm not doing this one right now. So this one I may end up saving. Hogwarts, guys. I'm getting there. We only have the one team left, right? This is always a big one, too. 
One, two, three, four, five. This is by Mischief Managed Budgets. $14. I feel like I want to do a IOU on this one. Anyone offended by that? On my in my other game, I do if it's over ten dollars, I do an IOU. Let's do an IOU. For now, I may come back to it and say, and say, oh no, let's just pay this fourteen dollars. This one was a, a tough one. I finished four of the cards. Gryffindor came in last. And so it is the last one to do. Ah, my golden girls. Let's see. We have... We have three left on here. One, two. And I have no idea. I know that Sophia is a $10. If I get all of them, it's 15 I feel like we're, you know, getting ready to get all of them again. Oh, we got Rose. Oh, well, that's all right. We got Rose and she's five. I was with some friends one night, two friends, and we were trying to decide which of the Golden Girls we'd be. We all decided, even even the one that's not even quite 40 yet, decided we'd all be Sophia. Although she's kind of spry, right? She knows how to live life. Don't let her fool you. Okay, $5 for this one. Can you see everything? I should probably raise this up just a tad bit more. How's that? Good, 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 good. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I mean, I'm talking to you guys, but I expect you to answer me back. I don't have my grandson today because it is school vacation here. Um, but I am going to meet them for lunch tomorrow, I think. This one is by uh, Blessed Daisy Budgets also. One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like I have to be careful of this middle one. I don't know why. Four dollars. Thank you. Is this from Jackie? I want to say in every single one of my videos, thank everyone for, for purchasing the adventure book. I know that we have some new people here. <clears throat> that uh, came over from other channels that were talking about the adventure book. And, of course, it has be become something that is very helpful to my husband and I. So we appreciate all of you guys. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's up in Blessed Daisy Budgets uh, Etsy shop. All right, this is one of mine. Five and they're two through eight. One, two, three, four, five. And I have no idea where they are. Well, that's not bad. I'm not gonna yell at me today, I guess. So these ones that I've got right now are fairly mild as whoops. Sorry, I did not I did not finish a challenge. Um, they're pretty mild right now, so not scary. Um, but I do have some new ones that have people have sent me um, who that are a little bit uh, going to be a little bit higher denominations. And of course, I've got a few in the notebook that are a bit crazy. All right, this one is from Tina also. Now she doesn't have a shop or anything, um, but she created these and sent them to me one two let's do this one four dollars this was so sweet of her i got the loveliest 
happy mail from her. It was chock a block full. I have a um, Minnie Mouse, um, I don't think it's a little golden book, I can't remember. Uh, but I'm going to, uh, she turned it into a scratch off book and sent that also. And that will be coming up soon once I get some more scratch offs finished. One, two, three, four. That's it in this book right now, guys, because remember, I finished some last month that had been hanging on. So let's, I don't have any that are even close to being finished in here. Well, unless I wanted to do the Harry Potter one, and that would probably clean me out. <clears throat> let's see what we have in here, guys. Um, let's, let's just look through it first. We have the Christmas one and the Guess Who one. See the spinner? There is a spinner like this coming in um, some of the Total Eclipse packages. So not the first one. Um, can't remember if it's coming in the, I think it might be like the third package and beyond. Did you see my little sneak peek or do you not want to see it? Because I did do a short last night of a sneak peek of a bunch of things that could be in your um, Eclipse package. Now those should be going out <coughs> hopefully by the end of next week or the beginning of the following week. They're all designed, all done. Um, everybody from $25 up to $75 gets a, um, a freebie in it. And um, the uh, each package builds upon the other. So what comes in the $25 one is kind of the base package. And then um, that builds upon the next one, upon the next one, upon the next one. And for instance, one of the packages, one of the levels gets a spinner. And so all the levels after that, as far as price levels, get the spinner. Um, there are four, let's see. There are five, oh, is that right? Yes, there are five, <laughs> don't quote me on that, items like that spinner. And they go into the last five um, amounts. No, no, one of them goes into the first one too. Okay, so anyway, the first, the $25 tier, you get something that's um, tangible, you know, like like dice or the spinner or something. Everyone gets the same thing. And then in the second package, the $35 one, you get that item and all of the challenges and you get more challenges and another item and so forth and so forth. Okay. Um, we have Minnie Mouse, which is kind of high denominations. We have not started those ones. We haven't started this one or any of these, um, or this one. Guys, we don't have many in here that we've started yet. So let's just do what we can do in here. And there's none that are getting close to being finished. So <clears throat> we're gonna do this one. This is from my pal Jackie also. She sent me such a nice Happy Mail goodie package. Um, a while back. Oops, we got to roll the color. Green, and it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, wait, these haven't been done either. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. 
We just did the ones that, oh, ha, 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 ha. Jackie, Jackie, I'm going to have to put you in time out. I affectionately call her JC. JC, what are you doing to me? Mmm, eight dollars. She's killing me, guys. She's killing me. All right, this is double sided, too. There's another. Christmas game on the back, which I will put in my holiday album when I'm done with this side. All right, let's play. I wonder if these are identical. Like, I mean, the names are all identical. I wonder if I'm supposed to be playing them simultaneously. I think I should go on Sholanda's page and see what I'm doing wrong here. I did get a guess who. Green. Let's do... Let's do April for my friend April. April, are you here? Here we go. Two dollars, April. Thank you so much. I, I have this feeling I should be playing these cards simultaneously. So, I will go on. Oh, and I could have uh, done a multiplier. I did do a multiplier the other day. I'm not going to today. <clears throat> All right, $2. Two dollars. But nobody has corrected me and said, hey, that's not the way to play that game. Donnie's. I had a teacher who called me Donnie's. Donnie's. That's how he said it. Just um, lovingly. He was a very kind-hearted man. He just always thought it was cute. And still, to this day, when I see him, he's, he's no longer a teacher anymore. But when I see him, he still does it. Oh, we better do Minnie Mouse. We know this is by um, Janelle Ray Budgets. And boy, these are tens and fives, guys. I don't think that I have a chance in heck of getting a small one. Um, let's see. One, two. Oh, another five. I'm sensing that these might be fives and tens in here, which means at any moment I could get a 10 and cry. But not bad so far. Okay, five dollar. One, two, three, four, five. See, I don't think any of my um, Scratch-offs are ready to be, uh, you know, that I could complete any of them. And that's it in this book, right? That is, I've got so many scratch-offs, you guys, of my own that I haven't done. Okay, so let's just look at what we have. We have this one and this one. That's not a scratch-off. I do want to, um, do I finish? I don't finish this one until next week. And then I have these lovely ones. You're a, you are a wonder. And then the sunflower or daisy one, I guess it is, that um, were created for me. Uh, these are minis. So those are going to go in with minis. See, I have this one, guys. And it says, thanks for the adventure. Now go home. Now go have a new one. This is from A.E. Budgets. She did this one, too. And don't talk. You don't talk much. I like you. Ellie says that. 
And then these ones are freebies in my May kit this month. And there's my May kit. My May kit right there. Okay, so those are minis and my May kit. Christmas one. These are all May kit. Yes. And then I have Gilligan's Island. Oh, I want to start that one, you guys. Gilligan's Island from my friend Melinda. There's an Easter one, and there is another. Okay, so this can go in the pink binder. I feel that's rather pink, too, and would bring some um, kind of happy in the uh, pink savings challenges. I'm going to put those there. This one I could do in here. And these ones I can do in here. One through eight, one through six. And I could also do these ones. Um, let's do a pug on a budget. And then next week we will start. This goes... I'm not doing adding any of mine, I guess. Let's see. Maybe we will. What, what's in here? Cows. Mm, I do like that one. I don't want to do any Christmassy ones. Oh, I like the bumblebee, too, because it's spring. I don't need to be adding more. You know that, right, guys? I'm going to put the Easter one of mine in here. I never did get to that one. <clears throat> and then I have this binder. This is All Things Kimberly. Divine Savings Co. Those are Christmas. And then these are spring. So I'm going to put these in here to get ready to use. And we are going to... Add these three. That's a one through 13. That's going to make me cry most days. That one and let's do this one. Um, now, do I need all these? No. No, I do not. Are we going to have fun and do them? Sure. All right. I mean, I have a bunch in the back here, too, guys, right? I have these from my Aussie friend right there. I might do, start that one eventually, you know, within the next month. I've got all these Janelle Ray Budgets ones. I got more of mine. I've got the NSYNC versus... Um, Backstreet Boys... I really need a new Kids on the Block one since I'm such a fan of Blue Bloods. <clears throat> okay, well, let's see what we can do. It's that one. We're going to move the Easter one out because we're not going to do it right now. That one's almost done. That one's almost done. That one's just beginning. Okay. Okay. Let's start with, let's start with Divine Savings Co's. Oh, I should only do one of hers right now. I might put this in the pink one. We're going to do the pug. I know it's purple, though. Yeah, we're going to do the pug. All right, because I only want to do one of each person's. These are 5 through 10, though. This is a 1. That pug is so darn cute. What are you giving me? A 6. Ooh, these are sparkly. Yep, I'll take a 6. I can handle a 6, guys. Whoa, those are glittery under there. Look at that. So much glitter. It's like they have a glitter explosion in them. 
I love glitter, by the way. So I'm I am good with glitter explosions. This whole workroom is a glitter explosion. Okay, let's put six in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> now we might have an issue with envelopes. We have the big, uh, the small ones. I always have issues with the envelopes, don't I, guys? Where are you, my envelopes? Those are not big ones. Those are small ones. Um, I guess. Well, we'll see what we can do. Let's do this one. And that's not going to fit in the big envelope anyway. So, <coughs> this one is from my friend Melinda. She does not have a shop, but she made a Gilligan's Isle. And I love Gilligan's Isle. I don't know if she knew that about me. Mrs. Howell. She gets a dollar. That is a good way to start out, Melinda. Good way to start out. Now, I don't have any idea how much these are going to be. Although, now she sent me the file. I printed it off. I laminated it and added the stickers so potentially I could know, but I don't. I have not a clue because I don't remember what the numbers were underneath it. That's just the way I roll, guys. Let, we're going to put it in this one. This pug is staring at me. He's so adorable. I need to make a scratch off with my little cavaliers. That would be fun. Okay. Well, come on. There we go. We're going to put Mrs. Howell, the dollar, in here. Little buddy. Now the um, song from Gilligan's Island is going through my head. You're welcome. A dollar goes in. So I won't be ringing any bells today. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Okay, and then let's see, what else do we have? We have this one, which is mine, and we're going to do a one. And even though it's mine, guys, I, I don't have a clue. It is two through eight, though. I wrote it on the back. I like these messy bun ones. Two dollars. Um... I used to always wear a messy bun before they were even something popular because I always had long hair and now I don't like I just I just told her today you know what trim it up even a little shorter for me it's getting you know getting close to summer and my hair will curl right up with the um, humidity which is nice I'm not complaining Okay, $2. I'm going to see if this one will fit in a small one. It may just have to be okay for today because I don't think... I don't think I have any more big ones right now. You can thank Melinda for putting that song in your head. Yeah, it's, it does not fit in here, but that's all right. 
That is okay. Oh, that's the Easter money. Um, all right. That's not going to fit in there either. No. All right. We're going to put $2 in here and pretend it fits. <clears throat> Whoa. So what I want to do is kind of change these out for some nice summery and springy ones and get rid of the, or finish up the um, wintry ones that I've started. Like Harry Potter always reminds me of winter. I think because it snows a lot in the movie. Oh, let's put that in there. Okay. And now we'll do this one, which is, I don't know. I have no idea how much they are. I do talk a lot. Two, one, two. Well, she'll surprise me. Three dollars. That's not bad. I feel like I haven't done scratch-offs in a while. This money is really um, <laughs> stretching out, isn't it? Oh, so I'm going to take this. I need to put this in the bank. $100 for Easter money uh, to pay back for our Easter. We're going to put that in here. Love it because it's up and I love up. I contemplated putting it in my adventure night. Maybe I'll put the other one in my adventure night. Okay, I we are going to do Alice. Because I haven't done an Alice one in a while. This is my new Alice kit. There are 15 cards. And you choose whether they come with one scratch off. Or you can get them with two scratch-offs. So with one, you save $120. And with two, you're going to save $240. So let's see. Let's take this one. Teacups. I love the images on these. Very obviously Alice in Wonderland-ish. They're so pretty. And yes, there are some more things coming out with these images on them. Oh, three dollars. Oh, thirteen dollars. <laughs> thirteen. I'm not going to do a IOU on this one. Ouch, thirteen. I wonder if I've been getting. I haven't done. Oh, I don't. I guess they're just in the. In here. Oh yeah, I've gotten a ten. And a six. Those may be, oh, and a four. And now a 13. Youch. Let's put the money in behind. <coughs> All right. We're going to put $13 in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 13, 13. I am, I'm watching my phone too because we're waiting for a call from the oxygen company because he is going to have oxygen at home now, which is a bit scary, but it's scarier when he feels like he can't breathe. But I haven't gotten a call yet, and it is Friday, so I feel like that's going to um, mean that we're not going to hear from him this until next week. I'm going to, I know, I know you guys, this is... It's not cheating, but I want to see. I want to add these up. I did finally put my calculator back in here. It's a big calculator. I'll probably find a pink one somewhere eventually and put this one back out at my 
computer. Eighty minus sixty-eight. Okay, so this one's probably twelve dollars, and I don't have twelve dollars. Um, I may keep this as an IOU. Let's look <clears throat> and see if there is indeed nothing I can finish. Oh, I could try the Golden Girls. Unless I get an all, which is a 15. Um, or we could do win a win a chicken dinner. 3 through 10. 10, 16, 20. 32, 35, 40. 43. No, those are still pretty high there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that pug. I'm not even a pug person, and I love that pug. I don't dislike pugs, but... Mm, hot chocolate. Tina's minis. All right. <clears throat> Let's try the Golden Girls and see what happens. I don't know, guys. I may be sorry. I may just as well put this in and not have an IOU. Blanche is seven. What do you think the chances of having another group one in here? I feel like it's a good chance. Okay, Blanche is seven. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. We're going to give it a try, guys. We may need an IOU. Nope! It's Blanche again! What? I am shocked. Shocked. All right. That's cool, though. So this one is finished. And it should have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It should have eighty dollars in it. Let's see what we've got. Five. Okay, we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. <clears throat> twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We have sixty dollars. Now this will go. I don't know. I um I think because it, again it's a character driven one, I think it will go in my renovations and um, Disney trip vacation binder, but I don't know yet. We'll have to decide. That feels good to have finished that one. Yay! And so what do we do? We do this. We do we ring the bells and <clears throat> oh, I still have money. Woohoo! I'm going to take a dollar and put it in our ring the bell bucket. There. Now, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. I don't know, guys. Tina's minis. Let's do a couple of Tina's minis. This will be a huge amount going into my Disney vacation at some point. 
we have mini head. Six dollars. One, two, three. What are the chances, guys? I mean, I just counted that and forgot. Six dollars. All right. That is cool. Let's see what's in here. I, I do like to count this one every now and then. Okay. Five. Let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 60, 66 dollars, Tina. That's amazing. I love it. I was worried about starting it and that I would run out, but there's, it's like a bottomless cup there. What is, come on. We'll put it behind. All right, folks, that is a wrap for <clears throat> my scratch-offs. And that's exciting. And I didn't have any outbursts or scary points, although that $13 one, which was mine, did kind of scare me a mint for a minute. So, but... All right, we shall see you real soon. Happy savings and happy rest of your Friday. Bye.